this was kind of such a wonderful eye opener for me, probably a lot of people when you guys started talking about this publicly and really said loud and clear that the path to this super high performance isn't about going low level in the programming. It's not about doing all this stuff in assembly language and whatever, uh, which was kind of like people said, you know, if you need to go fast, you need to let go of the high level language, let go of all the abstractions and so on. You guys were saying, find the right abstractions, find the abstractions yes. that align well with the what the machine how the machine works and what yes. you're trying to do the mechanical sympathy and i that was a big aha moment for me and i realized oh yeah domain driven design now can move in my style of development can move into territory where high performance is necessary we don't have to stick to the you know slow stuff yeah and i i i i i i, I think you've said some things about about the you know the the synergy between architectures like event based systems and and so on with with, with domain driven designers approach I, I think it's broader than that but but I think you're right what we're seeing is that this is a generally applicable approach yeah well yeah and, and I mean like you know I said okay the the shipping domain where you have a hundred thousand containers to track and they do a thousand things in their lifetime over a period of weeks. And that's low volume, and of course it is. And yet, even with that, you could create performance problems. Suppose that you had to call up, you know, a thousand records uh, from a database and you you do it one at a time. Like, yeah. suppose that you wrote some object-oriented code and it calls this thing. And every time it goes through this loop, it goes and gets the data that it needs. And that happens to be in a database and that, might be on the other end of a wire for all I know, because it's also abstracted away. <clears throat> and so even calling up, you know, a thousand containers to do some kind of inventory or something um, could be could be uh, disastrously slow. Uh, you have to think about these things, and and then yeah. you have to choose a model. So then you could say, all right, well, let's have caching. You know, let's yeah. just cache all the containers. and But you don't need to do that first. What you need to do first is you need to think about, well, what is it I'm trying to do in terms of the domain that involves a thousand containers? And maybe we need a name for this group of yes. containers. Like, what are these thousand containers? They're not just thousand randomly chosen containers. You know, there are something or other. And... If I know that much, I could do a single database query to get the something or other. And yeah, it's, 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 it's identifying and drawing those lines of abstraction that allow us to have those, those higher level conversations between the pieces. Yeah, and so it's no longer <clears throat> just a list of containers that now takes a thousand database hits, but instead it's a single whatever, warehouse inventory or something. Thank <laughs> you.